Okay, it's C. Lindelof. Um, just a really short video on expressing rational exponents in radical form. So here we have a rational exponent. This is a rational exponent up here. So we have 7 to the 1 and a half power. This is not 7 and a half. This is this exponential power up here is 1 and a half. And this is what I want to show you. And I showed this example of what a radical looks like in the parts of a radical. This is actually really easy to do. The first thing we know is that we're going to turn this into a radical, right? We're going to put this under a radical. So I'm going to say that this just gives us, I'm going to start with this radical. Now, from here, it gets actually really easy if you just know kind of the rules. This area right here that we're looking at, right here in the corner of the radical, this is where the index goes. And if, there's, if you don't see an index right here, then that index is 2, right? Square root second. So 2, in the same way that if you have 5, it's positive 5, and you don't have to put the positive sign. So anytime you see a radical that doesn't have an index, that index is 2. However, just for argument's sake, I want you to know that this 2 right here is this 2. So you're going to see the pattern in just a second. So here's our 7. This is our 7 right here. The 7 goes in here. We have 7. And if you see this 1 right here, this is the exponential value of that 7. So 7 to the first power. So when you see this, the 7 is the radicand. Draw in your radical the bottom number of the of the rational is the root or the index, right? And then you put the number in. I'll show you another really <clears throat> easy example. This should make really good sense, I think. So let's take two to the five thirds power. Five thirds power. I'm color coding this for a reason. Five thirds power. Now we've been asked to convert this into radical form. So I'm going to convert this into radical form initially just by setting up my radical. So here's my radical, right? The radicand is the base here of two. So the two goes inside here. The index, right? The index is this value right here. We said this is the index or the root. So the bottom number root at the bottom of something like of a tree. The three goes here. And then the 5 goes here. So hopefully you can see this. I have this, in ex I have this in exponential form. I'm asked to put it in radical form. Make the radical. The bottom number is the root. The top number is the exponent that goes with it. If you want, we can do, well, let's just do one more example really quick. Hopefully you're still with me. I'm trying to make this super quick for you. So look, so we have 6 to the 3 halves power. Right, 6 to the 3 halves power. Obviously, the first thing we're going to do, right, we want this in radical form. First thing we're going to do is set up our radical. So here's our radical. The 2 is here is the index. The root, the index, is at the bottom. So you can put the 2 here. Yeah? The 6 is in the radicand. So there's the 6. And this 3 right here goes here. This is another way you're going to see this written. I hope you stay with me long enough to see this. Another way that you could see this written is this way. You could see square root 6. Remember that you don't have to show this index if it's 2. You just leave it blank and it's assumed. And then the 3 can go on the outside. It doesn't matter. This, these two things are equivalents. Uh, hopefully in the next video we can talk more about how you actually um, evaluate these things in what order that you use or, or ask ourselves the question is order important but for now trying to keep the video super short for you hope this is helpful if you have questions or comments please let me know and do me a favor if you haven't subscribed please do